So hi everyone. Today we will be demonstrating and talking about a revolutionary multi-model LLM that is Mini CPM 02.6. So the model has been released recently and it has outperformed GPT 4O and Claude 3.5 Sonnet on multi-model tasks, be it vision, be it audio synthesis, etc. The best part being the model is just 8 billion parameters and is completely open sourced. So before we jump on to its details, let's try out the model on the official Mini CPM website. Here you can see that they are providing real-time video call, real-time voice call and chatbot facilities as well. So let's try out the voice call feature first. Hey Mini CPM, what are you doing today? I'm not doing anything today. I'm just here to help people like you with questions or tasks. How can I assist you today? So Mini CPM, tell me about what do you like the best about the world? As an AI, I don't have personal preferences or emotions. However, I can tell you that the world is full of diverse cultures, beautiful landscapes, and amazing people. It's a place of endless opportunities and experiences. What do you like most about the world? So as you can see, the quality of the output is quite amazing and the speed of the inferencing is great. So it's almost real time. There are certain glitches, but I think that is fine. Let me try out the real time video call as well once before we jump on to the details. Hi Mini CPM, what are you doing today? There is one earbud visible in the image. The person is wearing a blue t-shirt and has a black cord hanging around their neck. The background is a plain wall with a light switch and a power outlet. So as you see, it was able to make out what I'm doing, what was the image all about, what was the video all about. It was not able to have a conversation in the video, but I think that is fine. The model is pretty good. And let's now deep dive into the details of the model. So as mentioned, Mini CPU 2.6 is open source and beats Claude 3.5 GPT-40 on multi-model tasks. So when we say that, we mean that it has achieved an average score of 70.2 on open compass. And it excels in multi-image video understanding as well, surpassing both GPT-4V and Claude 3.5 Sonnet. It is also great at in-context learning capability. So basically this means that it is very great at adapting to new tasks and informations within the context without requiring any additional information. State-of-the-art speech capabilities, not just images and video. It is great at TTS as well and Outperform GPT-40 real-time in ASR and STT, speech-to-text and automatic speech recognition translation. The language is supported right now is English and Chinese, so do remember this as well. Not just that, it also supports live streaming capabilities. As we just saw, I was able to have a real-time conversation with the model, uh, both on audio as well as on the video. The video, it was able to capture it in real-time and able to give us an answer. It supports real-time speech as well and outperforms both the state-of-the-art models in this also on streaming bench, one of the important benchmarks for real-time video and omnisource understanding. Advanced OCR capabilities. We didn't try the model for OCR, but the model is pretty good with that too. And it achieves state-of-the-art for models under 25 billion parameters. Superior efficiency. It can process 1.8 million pixels with only 640 tokens, 75% fewer than most models. The most easiest to use, I would say, it is available everywhere. It is available in the quantized version as well, as I have showed in the previous video, supported on Llama.cpp as well, enables high throughput and memory efficiency, supports GGF format and end 4 So basically, now its quantized versions are also present, hence you won't require a huge hardware for running this particular model. Now talking about the architecture, end-to-end -end omnimodal architecture, the model is designed to handle multiple types of data, as you mentioned, text, images, audios, videos with a single unified system. So if you have seen my previous example, we are loading the model just once and the same model is able to handle every type of data input. 
how it works we are just looking into the shallow level at the architecture so there are different encoders and decoders that are connected together the components are trained end to end meaning they work together to seamlessly process and understand all types of data the best part being i think it's one of the rarest model which supports all different types of inputs and it's a true multi model i would say omni model live streaming mechanism so there is a live streaming mechanism as well because as i mentioned it's one of the best models for live streaming as well so there are online encoder and recorder that are modified to work with streaming data and there is a concept called as time division multiplexing so if you have worked with streaming data you might be knowing this term the model processes multiple streams of data by breaking them into chunks right talking about the speech model design so the model can understand how it speaks based on the user preferences the model uses two types of prompts text system prompt is answer in a formal tone and audio system prompt flexible voice configurations is there many things are present why this architecture is special why the model is special because it's quite efficient very small in size very flexible you can do most of the things and state of the art performance how to use the model i think i just showed you the model is hosted for free on hugging face on mini cpm website and the weights are present on hugging face so eventually you can run the code and the model should be able to work for you so i hope you try out mini cpm o2.6 the model is one of the best multi model llms i would say and it's worth giving a try thank you so much